What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we actually got here to Orban Orborg City, and we caught a few Pokemon along the way. Uh, got to see Barry. Speaking of Barry, let's go to the gym, because Barry, he's standing right there like an idiot. Let's see what he has. Huh. Oh, it's you, Draven. You finally got here. You're slow like always. You're so slow, the gym leader's long gone now. He said he had to go to, uh, well, oh yeah, well, Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but, but what? Seriously, man, you're like standing in my place, I'm like, D seriously, you like, ugh, I hate you, man. Okay, so here we are in Orberg City, and like I said, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna be exploring a few things, getting to see a few, uh, uh, people, getting to lay the land and all that stuff, talk to people, grab some stuff, because, you know, Getting free shit is always good, so let's see, what if we talk to this lady, yes, uh, she's asking for a Machop, now if you have a Machop, you can actually trade it to her for an Abra, I really wish Nintendo would have like, uh, let me know about this, because you know, <laughs> we already have an Abra, and it's, uh, it's already good. Anywho, let's see, this guy is saying that all Pokemon have special abilities, and, well, let's see, I don't think anybody uh, in here is going to give us anything. Yeah, they're not going to give us anything. Now, let's see. What to do, what to do. Oh, yeah, we're going to be going in uh, a few houses. Uh, we're going to be catching uh, maybe one or two Pokemon off screen. Just for the hell of it. And, well, let's see. Talk to this guy. There's eight gym leaders in the... Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's talking about the gym leaders. Yes, obviously the gym leaders are one of the toughest trainers out there. And if you talk to this lady, she will be giving us a dust ball. Which many of you guys already know that if you if you catch a Pokemon with a dust or the best way to catch a Pokemon with a dust ball is at night or in a cave. Now if it's both, then you know you're in luck and all that stuff. So anywho, let's go ahead and move on right here. Now we're gonna be going up north and we're gonna be hitting Route 207 because there's a few things that we can actually get. Now, first is foremost, this guy right here is gonna be talking to you and let's see. This slope is too slippery. You need a bike to get up there. You don't have a bike? There's a cycle shop in Eterna City. Well, as you can see, yeah, we really, uh, <laughs> we really can't do much right there. So that's one. The other thing too is that there is a, well, there are a few Pokemon that I want to capture. One of them is right here. So let's go ahead and fast forward to that capturing of that specific Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So here we are trying to capture this Machop right here. Now, it's not going to be a, a, a mainstay on my team, but I do want it for this next battle, or this next gym battle right here, because, well, you know, you, you may never be too, uh, you know, or you may never be too sure about what, what may happen in a battle uh, along the way. Now, as you can see, Machop, it is a fighting type Pokemon. I mean, I can level it up and then eventually trade it in and out for, uh, you know, a Machoke. Or a Machop. You know, I do have one of those two Pokemon in my, my Pokemon Shining Pearl uh, game that I have right here. And, oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes. Throwing out that peace sign. Yes. So I can, I can easily, um, I can easily trade it in and out just to trade it and all that stuff. But I do want to have this Pokemon on my team uh, for the specific reason that, you know, hey, we're going to be battling a, a no, we're going to be battling a rock type gym leader and we kind of suck right now. So here we have Machop, the super power Pokemon, fighting type Pokemon, 247, 43 pounds of a pure muscle. Now, as you can see right here, it has a Graveler repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial art. So don't even grab this guy in the in the cage because <laughs> he'll wreck you. Anywho, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm going to nickname him right here. Obviously, it will evolve into a very, very muscular Pokemon. So I'm just going to be naming it Muscles because, yeah. I want my body to be like that. Muscles. Nothing but muscles. Okay, so let's go ahead and add him to the Pokemon, or to our to our team right here. Let's go ahead and switch out Bidoof, because, yeah, we really don't need Bidoof right now. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and... Let's see, do I have a Repel here? Yes, I do have one Repel. Okay, so we're going to be using a Repel, and we're going to be grabbing this little item right here, which is a Pokeball. And we're going to be grabbing this little item right here, which is a Pokeball as well. So just make sure to, you know, to look everywhere and all that stuff, guys. Obviously, we're going to be getting ourselves a an item binder on our Poketech. So that is done right there. Now, the other thing that we have to do right here, too, is just take a, a nice visit of this whole place. 
Yes, I know it's a waste of a repel, but let's go ahead and visit these places because there might be some free stuff around here too. So talk to this individual and he's going to be like, you're taking a tour of our coal mine? Wonderful, that's excellent to you. It's always good to learn about new things and broaden your horizons. Great. It didn't give me any free stuff. Let's see. Free stuff? Any free stuff? Uh, there's an entrance right there. I wonder if I can ride any of this stuff right here. Nope, there's no free stuff right here. Come on, man. How about this guy? There's no question that this is hard, hard work, but working alongside Pokemon, it gives me a boost somehow. Here, take one of these, and we get ourselves a super potion, which is always nice because, well, you know, that increases our HP that we have to heal and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and move right here. And, well, let's see. You have free stuff? This pile of dirty sand is called a, a slacky. It's a waste of sorting coal, okay, but it is their free stuff, like monies. And yes, we found ourselves a Stardust. That's always nice to have, and let's see, nothing right there. So let us continue on right here and go into the Orber Coal Mine. This is where you're going to be finding uh, the Gym Leader now. One thing you can grab is an X Defense, and a few other things too is that you can find some Pokemon, some interesting Pokemon, if you say. And, well, there are Pokemon that look like rocks. They surprise me. Everyone who works at a coal mine keeps their own Pokemon with them. You may be challenged to battles. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm intending for that to happen because I kind of need to level up my Pokemon and all that stuff, you know. Get the muscles all greased up and all that crud. And, well, we're getting attacks. Alrighty, guys. So, I kind of fast forward a little bit because that last Pokemon that I actually battled was an onyx and that yeah you guys already know how uh, onyx can be very very stubborn but i managed to capture it so i went back to the pokemon center healed up now i'm back in action here again unfortunately i didn't buy myself repels like i should have so what's going to happen right now is i'm actually going to switch out some pokemon right here yes a few of my pokemon actually grew levels might as well just give them some uh, battles right here while they're at it so let's go battle this guy i met this mod up at route 207 they now become the most trusted partners oh okay Talk to this guy. I'm going to let you in on a secret. I suck my Pokemon to work. Okay, so that right there is not much of a secret because I think you're supposed to be bringing your Pokemon to work. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So there it is. We're going to be going up against a Machop, so it's a very good matchup. All right, let's go. Let's go with the wing attack. Thankfully, Starblade knows its attacks right here, so there it is. Starblade kicking some butt, kicking some names, but here comes a focus energy. Oh man. Okay, so here we go. Wing attack for the win. And there goes Machop. No, no, no. Oh, damn. Okay, alrighty. And there goes more experience points for everybody. Man, we are going to be training like nobody did this right here. And yes, we are now something else. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, let's go ahead and switch out more Pokemon right here now. Let's see. Let's go back to Infernomon. Now, Infernomon was the victim of a, of a, of a, of a thrashing against the Sonics. Now, let's grab this. We found ourselves a potion. Very nice. And, well, let's go ahead and not talk to him yet. Talk to this guy. Fine! Alrighty then. Just a quick battle on my break. Now... There are not, there are not a lot of trainers out here, guys. Not a lot of trainers, but we could just battle the Pokemon, capture some of these guys, and all that stuff too, uh, to get yourself at a right enough level right here. So here we go, our first matchup. Let's go straight for a power up punch, and bam, power up punch does its thing right there. We're increasing the attack, and well, I hope this Geodo knows what it's what it's doing now. Now, Power Up Punch can actually be a very good thing if you correctly, well, the circumstances are correct, too, and look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Geodude has fainted. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Look at that. And, and Muscles has grown to level 8 and has learned revenge just for this occasion. And Ultra Psycho, he just keeps on growing levels. That's good. And it's about to come out with an Onyx. Let's go right ahead and continue on that, that boost of energy that we have right here. And, well, Onyx, I'm about to power up punch you because, well, you made my Pokemon faint. And there we go. Oh, wow. 
a bind attack. Now, I actually thought that was going to go for like a rock throw or something, but I guess I was wrong, so let's go right. Oh, wow. Come on. Knock it off. Okay, let's go. Straight for a power up punch. There it is. For the win. And no more Onyx. Oh, yeah. Okay, alrighty. And Electrostar goes to level 12. And it's learning Bite, which is a good move right here. So let's go ahead and. You know what? Let's take away Leer. We need more attack attacks and all that stuff. I know, I know. I'm using different kinds of stuff. But here we go. Defeated him. And Colin has. Well, Colin has been defeated right here. Okay. So that is done. Let's go straight for that. Let's get an escape rope right here. And let's go ahead and grab some other items. I know that there could be some items right here somewhere. Yeah, we don't have any, we don't have anything else. So I think that's pretty much it right there. So let's go right ahead and talk to Rourke himself. And there he is. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden moves from Rock Smash, get rid of the boulder and walk on your way. Hey ya! Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they are out of the way. If you could get the badge from my gym in the town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Oh wow, and he scurries on away. Well, uh, that is a that is a uh, interesting proposal right there, and I intend to do that. Uh, there is just one little thing. I kind of need to train my Pokemon just a tad. I don't know. I think we're at a right enough level to actually take them on and all that crud. It's just, uh, yeah. We need, a, we need to have the backup. And I mean the backup, that backup. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward, guys, to another route. Because we need to capture a specific Pokemon for this. It could be a gamble, but it is what it is. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are trying to capture a Badoo, and this is north of Jubilife City, so what's going to happen right here is, this is a level 4 uh, Badoo. I should have I should have gone up to this route first before, you know, we, we went up to, uh, to which one call it, Orbert City, but I kind of wanted to like, kind of wanted to just move forward with the whole storyline right here. So, what's going to happen is, I'm going to capture this little guy. And from there, I'm just going to train it off, uh, train it up off screen. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what ends up happening in the next episode. Because, yes, you guys already know that we will be going up against the uh, Orbridge Gym Leader. So, there it is, guys. We have captured a new Pokemon. And this one's going to be pretty good right here. So, there we go. Some of our Pokemon are growing in all that crud. And, well, here we have Badu. The Bud Pokemon, the Grass and Poison type Pokemon. Over the winter, it closes its bud and endures the cold. In spring, the bud opens and releases pollen. So, you guys already know. This is one Pokemon that I've been wanting to capture. Out of the ordinary Pokemon. Might be a staple of our team. So, in the next episode, you guys will be finding out what kind of a nickname it has. So... Until then, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.